Okay, let's move on to some commands that will help you move around and use AutoCAD. So the first couple of things you need to know is how to use your mouse. And when I say that I am selecting something, that means I'm using my index finger to select on the screen. You'll notice that if you click without offering any um, direction for AutoCAD telling it what to do, you'll just get a box. And this is a select box. So click once with your index finger and if you scroll to the lower right you'll get a blue box. Click again, it'll go away. However, if you do that over items, you will select all of the items that were completely enclosed in that blue box. To deselect them, you can right click, which is the, um, the further right button on your mouse. Use your index finger to use it, and you can deselect all. I oftentimes just use the escape button on the toolbar for that also. So if you're clicking with your mouse again and you click in the from the lower corner to the upper left corner, you're going to get a green box with dashed lines around it. What happens when you do that is it will select absolutely everything that is touching that box. So this will allow you to select many items at one time and work with them simultaneously. Again, we can deselect all. So that fun little menu that comes up is used by right-clicking using your index finger, and you'll get a different menu that is appropriate to whatever you're working on. Since we're here, we can um, work with pan and zoom. So let's start with pan. Pan is your hand print, and that's going to be the same thing as pushing a paper from side to side. It's not going to change the scale of what you're working on, but it will allow you to um, move around the view. So you do this by clicking on the select index finger, select mouse button, pushing down, and moving. Keep that push that mouse um, select down the entire time you're moving. You can also do this using the scroll wheel. So that's your wheel in the center and you can push down on that scroll wheel and move around your image, your drawing. Once you're done, just release. You can go back and right click and at that point you can choose to exit but since we have some um, nice other options here, we're going to look at Zoom. This is called Zoom Real Time. And what Zoom Real Time does is it gives you a magnifying glass. And you can scroll using your scroll bar in and out over an area in the drawing to see it at a larger scale. If you want to move around just by panning, you can remain in this command, but use that scroll wheel to press down and move your view to see more, and then use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Once you've found what you want, you can either exit this command and stop the command. So look down here at the bottom, it says that you're panning. You can also choose to zoom window. So that will draw a box around the area that you want to zoom and see closer. It can be very helpful. Again, right click to get our box back up. Um, zoom original, that was where we started our drawing. And finally, zoom extents. So in this drawing, that's not terribly helpful, but what will happen as you draw over time is you're drawing and you may lose some bearings within this drawing file. So let's say you're working 
in a very precise area right in here. When you're drawing, you've got lots of shrubs and ground cover, and then you zoom back, and perhaps you can't see everything that you've been working on. You can do zoom extents, and it will show you all of the drawing work that you've done within this file. It can also be really helpful if you're drawing and you keep losing things that you're drawing. Sometimes, for unknown reasons, they can be located way off in space somewhere. That way you can find them, erase them, and then relocate that information in the area that you had intended. So those are the zoom and the pan options. And next we'll move on to drawing, then modifying. Those will be our next two demonstrations.